All right, so if you're trying to boot your Mac, uh, this is an iMac, but it will be the same for a MacBook or anything. Um, but if you're trying to boot from another external drive, let me show you here. Right now it's gonna say it needs internet to verify this, but let me show you. Okay, so you can see if I do that and tell it to boot from this external, um, it's gonna say it's gonna need internet, okay. So I'm gonna connect it to the internet here and then we'll see if it what it gives. So give me a second, I'll connect that and I'll be back. Okay, you can see we're now on Wi-Fi. So let's go ahead and try and connect to the, or boot this external drive again. Okay, we'll restart. All right, it's trying to read and there you go. Unable to verify startup disk, all right, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so if it's giving that, we're basically um, going to restart the computer and you're gonna actually, while it's starting up, boot up with Command R or the Windows, um, Windows and R key, just hold those buttons down. Okay, so we'll hold those down and we'll just wait. It can take quite a while. Um, if you don't wanna wait and watch in the video, just go ahead and fast forward through. Right, but I'm going to hold the Windows and R keys down. Right, once you see the Apple, um, usually you can let go, or you can just keep holding to make sure it's actually going to the recovery. So I'm going to keep doing that, and yeah, okay. And now that I felt like I held it long enough, I'm going to let go. I'm going to wait and see. Okay, it's going to take a while. Usually to get into the recovery menu, it takes a, quite a while. Um, it's not gonna be instant. Hi, Venus. Yes. Okay, so we'll give it some time. It's booting up. You can see it has that little loading bar there. All right. And once that's done, we're gonna get the whole like recovery menu and everything. I was in this screen earlier. Um, but yeah, all right, so now that we're in here, we're going to go to the top here and go to utilities, startup security utility, and in here it says to enter a Mac OS password, so we're going to do that, and we need a password, so let me do that and I'll be back. Okay, after typing the password and pressing enter or the return key, you can see we have all these firmware password protection stuff. It says that the firmware password protection is off. Um, and then the security boot, you can see we have full security. Um, I'm actually going to change it so you can see it says uh, Medium allows any version of, of signed operating system software trusted by Apple to run. All right, so I'm going to change it to that and see if it'll work because I am going to boot uh, an older version of Mac OS, so it should work. But let's see if it doesn't, then we're going to have to change it to no security. Also, it says here to allow booting from external, so we're going to allow booting from external. Okay. Um, full security ensures that only the current OS is signed. Okay. We don't want that. We want to be able to boot other ones. Right. So, and then we want to boot from external. So, there we go. We're going to now close this thing. Okay. Now, let's go ahead and go back up here. We're going to go again to the Apple logo and we're going to go to startup disk. Sorry, I don't have a way to record my screen really clear. I'm going to boot from my Mojave drive and let's see if that works now. So we'll restart. And you can see it's restarting this time. It's not giving that error like last time. Okay, so we'll let it go. And it's going to take its time. All right, it's going to take a while. the Apple logo and it should boot from the other drive now um, you can also hold the option key to boot from it let's see if it doesn't boot from there we might have to change the security to even lower settings but we'll see All right come on it made the ding sound I'm worried because my external drive isn't flashing anymore Let's see, I'm going to hold the option key. I think it might have, um, yeah, I don't think it's going to boot from the other drive. Let's see. Oh, it just keeps restarting itself. So maybe it can't boot from this. I'm trying to boot from, um, 
what do you call from Mojave maybe it's too old for this iMac so I might have to get a way to get an older version onto a drive um, but let's see we'll try one more time Mojave um, but yeah if the OS is supported by your Mac then this should work if it it's not supported then it's not going to work um, again I'm probably gonna try changing the security thing one more time to the like the lowest setting and see if that will work but um yeah this should work if you're booting an OS that your Mac supports hopefully this video helped you guys out if it did like comment subscribe share my channel with others so that they can learn how to upgrade and repair their devices as well and if it helped you save a bunch of money please consider contributing well to the channel Every little bit helps and allows me to continue making these videos for a living. Alright, if you can't help out that way, it would help a lot if you could watch a few of my other videos and then like and comment on those as well because that's what the algorithm likes to see. Other than that, thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Yeah, my drive is still just blinking, but it's not booting, so we'll see. If it does come up, I'll show you that, but yeah. Oh, is it actually loading my drive or is it loading the internal one now? Oh, it's actually blinking. So I think it's it's like blinking and then stopping. So hopefully it's actually working now. It's taking a long time. No, I think it's booting the internal drive. Well, actually it's blinking again. Hmm. And then it stops. What is it booting? Is it booting that? Come on, do your thing. blinking and then it stops so I have a feeling it's reading the external drive all right we got the mouse cursor oh it disappeared we had the mouse cursor and it's loading up again and come on load to my boot I mean it didn't say it had an issue with the boot drive so oh okay it booted my Mojave like installer interesting all right, anyways, I guess I'll install Mojave, and then that's it. I'll see you guys later. Bye. All right, as you can see, it's installing Mojave. I did want to install Catalina, but for some reason it went to this, not booting my actual OS. So after I install Mojave, I'm just going to upgrade it or update it to uh, Catalina. All right, and yeah, hopefully this video helped again. Um, if you're not sure how to do this, uh, basically you have to go to the disk utility and then um, tell it to show all the disk partitions. Um, look for your internal drive, click it, and then erase that. Format it to APFS, and then after you format it, close out the disk utility and then install the OS. You do need to connect to the internet, of course, and that's pretty much it. All right, I'll see you guys later. Bye.